So we're gonna cut that hole opening uh, for the window to sit into. The top and the bottom have to be cut out. The left side we're, of the window we're keeping to be the left side of the frame. And the right side is, well that's the span that I have from the uh, German siding that I removed from the other window. I can't make it longer, that's the size that it was. So everything kind of fits pretty well there. Uh, I'm gonna cut it out using a vibratory saw. That is this jobber here, where <clears throat> when I plug this in, I'll turn it on for you. You know, for the longest time, there was a company by the name of Fein, F-E-I-N, that made these, these tools, and they were really neat. For $500, you could have one, <clears throat> and uh, I never bought one at that point there, and I never really always thought, well, you know, I could always just get a, a saw and a flush cut down at the bottom underneath a, uh, wind, a door frame to the floor height and all that kind of stuff. But this thing is really neat. And all it is, is turn it on right here. It vibrates. And that's what makes the cut. So it comes in a couple different blades. I have ones here that are like a little over 180 degrees that I can use to get underneath large pieces. I used this a lot when I was uh, cutting out the, the ceiling in the other room. I wanted to open it up so I could be able to put things in my ceiling like clamps and hang tools and things like that uh, because it wasn't going to be a house it was going to be a, a shop but I also wanted to keep all that material in the kind of condition that if I wanted to go back and use it again for something else I certainly could so I, I, I was pretty uh, <clears throat> meticulous about how I took it out so I'd be able to reuse that and I have reused that another product I'll show you later on I'll show you where that ceiling from the other room uh, went in one place, but these come in wood cutting metal cutting 180 degrees uh, They also come here's a brand new one. These are the, a cheaper brand Rockwell, which is also This is a poor cable, but Rockwell I think poor cable already cahoots uh, Here's one. It's for Precision wood end cut blade and what else do I have in here? I have, here's another wood one that's all gummed up from whatever it was I was using on. Uh, another one that's gummed up. They should be cleaned. But they also have ones, and here's another wood one. They have ones that are just straight blades, just like a like putty knife blade. And therefore, if you need to take off uh, some linoleum or something like that that had a, a gummy bottom to it, that would vibrate and keep allowing you to peel it up from that. But we're going to take this vibratory saw we're gonna go out and we're gonna cut the line that I traced around the top and the, and the corner edges there uh, when we're using this we're gonna be sure to make sure be sure that we're going in just slightly okay I'll cut the top part out uh, before I turn the the, the uh, camera back on again and then I'll cut the bottom part out for you and I'll show you that what I'm doing is kind of scoring across and getting my depth as I go I can be a little more aggressive once I know that this thing is on my line but I'm just gonna kind of stencil across uh, to begin with there so I have a depth that I won't rattle it out of my, out of my area there. I don't wanna do any unnecessary painting. And in terms of how tight the frame fits in there, uh, you know, I would like to be within 316s on both sides there because that's a pretty decent size for being able to put a bit of caulk in between that. Um, <clears throat> so I'll put a little bit of foam spacer behind that and, and put some caulk in there and I'll show you that as well, okay? <clears throat> so right now we're just cutting open the, the German siding there and uh, putting the frame in, all right?